These veneer techs are going to kill someone and it's only a matter of time. So you're telling me that y'all are getting your veneers done by veneer tech with a certificate instead of a degree? Understand that putting composite over a cavity can be detrimental to your health. Practicing dentistry or dental hygiene unless the person has an appropriate active license issued by the department pursuant to this chapter. Y'all are going to jail! So Atlanta is one of my favorite shows of all time. And if you don't know what Atlanta is, it's a show by Childish Gambino, aka Donald Glover. And it basically centers around his character, Earn, and his cousin, Paperboy, who are basically trying to blow up in the rap game. And the show kind of follows their journey into the rap industry and just the craziness that happens in the city called Atlanta. And trust me, if you watch the show, there's a lot of weird stuff that happens throughout the show. I mean, the way that they depict Atlanta is wild. Basically, in other words, Atlanta is weird. Now, I encourage you to watch the show, but if you won't, let me just give you a rundown of all of the craziness that happens on the TV show in the city of Atlanta. There's an episode where this rapper has an invisible car and it crashes into people. And weirdly enough, Earn and Paperboy don't even acknowledge it. They see it on the TV and they act like, you know what? It's just regular Atlanta shit. Black Justin Bieber. Bro, that episode is so freaking funny. Basically, Justin Bieber is playing in this basketball game for charity. And basically, he's just kicking Paper Boy's ass. And it's hilarious because, first of all, Justin Bieber is black. I remember back in the day where it's kind of problematic because Justin Bieber, listen, in my opinion, it seemed like he wanted to just be black. I mean, dude went to the hood for like two hours and he thought he was a changed man. There's another episode where they kind of do a Michael Jackson imitation. The character's called Teddy Perkins. And um, as you can see, very creepy dude. We'll leave it at that. There's also an episode where they go and get some chicken wings. And that shit is straight out of Pulp Fiction because the chicken wings are glowing. And also that episode where there's this kid that thinks he's a 40-year-old white male. When did you know that you were a 35-year-old white man? Well, I've always felt different. That episode was freaking hilarious. But yes, as you can see, Atlanta is crazy on this show. Now, hopefully, as y'all should know, Atlanta is a real place. I hope you know that. If you don't, I don't know what to tell you, man. Your school educational system failed you. I don't know, man. And I feel like Tyler's Gambino didn't really exaggerate the show Atlanta because clearly in real life, Atlanta is just straight out of hell. Now, why did I take the time to start this video by talking about Atlanta, the show? It's because I've been scrolling through TikTok. I don't usually go on TikTok that much. I try to avoid it because it just consumes all my time and I have a lot of things to do, like finishing my semester. For everybody that's in finals right now, good luck to you. I don't know why you're watching this video. Study, like what are you doing? I should be studying, but I'm making a YouTube video. So you see, I'm not a role model. That being said, I was on TikTok and because I got my wisdom teeth, taken out and I was looking like a chipmunk for the longest time. I was looking up YouTube videos about, you know, wisdom teeth and things of that nature. And it led me to maybe one of the most vile, crazy and downright evil thing I've ever seen out of Atlanta, veneer techs. So welcome back to the Kill Ivan show. And today we are talking about the epidemic that are veneer techs clinics in Atlanta. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to the Kill Ivan Show. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. And if you're new here to this channel, hey, it's me, Kill Ivan. Guys, if you're liking the videos and if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe because the videos are awesome. As you know, I mean, just check the comments. Maybe not now because the video just dropped, but check, come back like in three days. The comments, are, people are loving the videos, man. You'll see in the comments, okay? Testimonials. That being said, make sure to subscribe, like, share the video, and I am giving away a blonde vinyl. You already know this. So if you want it, make sure to subscribe. We gotta get to 10K first, we're almost there, kind of. So make sure to do all that beautiful stuff and let's get back into the video. So basically, if you thought Kanye West jaw grills were complete nonsense, you ain't ready for what's going on in Atlanta. I mean, veneer tech clinics are popping up everywhere in Atlanta. You would think they're thrift stores, the way they're popping up everywhere. I mean, imagine getting your smile redesigned by a dude that took a three-day online course. I mean, dude has no dental background. He just took the course on Zoom, and then he's playing in your mouth. I mean, that's straight foolishness. But before we get deeper into this rabbit hole, you might be wondering, what are veneers? 
So with the limited dental knowledge I have, even though I do have a bachelor's degree in allied health sciences, so I do have a scientific background and a little bit of health background, but I am no professional when it comes to teeth health, okay? I am not a dentist. However, I did thorough research, so I'm just gonna give you a little rundown of what are veneers. So basically, veneers are thin shells made of porcelain or a composite material. And they're basically designed to cover the surface of your teeth. And they're custom made to fit the shape and the color of your teeth, even though some people be looking like this when they get their veneers done. And basically, why do people get them? There's a lot of reasons. There's also those memes that when you become an influencer, you become famous, you get veneers, all these artists get veneers. But basically, again, the market is feeding on our insecurities because a lot of people just don't like their teeth. Now, some people do get veneers for medical reasons. That's possible. But um, as we know it and as we see it, a lot of people get it for really just cosmetic issues. So maybe they don't like how their teeth look. Maybe there's some gaps, discoloration, this, that, and the third. Um, they get it. So, hey, listen, if you got the money for it, no problem. Go and cop them. But goddamn, I'll be damned if my brother or my sister go to Atlanta to get veneers by a dude that I never went to college. I mean, the procedure to do this thing is quite complex. That's why some dentists don't even want to do this because there could be some complications and put you in some grave situations if they mess up. So I'll be damned if a veneer tech touches me. So basically, when you get veneers, it starts with a consultation with your dentist, the assessor teeth, and you'll talk about the desired outcome. And basically the procedure starts with removing some of your teeth. Yeah, they take a small amount of your enamel from the front of your teeth just to make enough rooms for the veneer. So imagine the veneer tech is just working in your mouth and he just takes too much enamel. You're fucked. <laughs> You're fucked, dog. Like this shit requires precision to not F up your teeth. Like I, I have to tell you guys, some dentists don't want to do this stuff, bro, because not anybody can do this. After that, an impression of your teeth is taken just to get the mold of your teeth to prepare the veneer so they can fit perfectly on your teeth. And mind you, this mold is sent to a dental lab so they can send the custom veneers back to the dentist for them to do the procedure. So I'm looking at these veneer tech videos. At what time, at what moment do they send that shit off to a lab? Like, what are we, what are we doing guys? What are we doing? And mind you, the tech for your teeth size, the color, like so many factors to make sure everything is perfect. And this may take weeks. I'm seeing niggas day of getting the veneers done. And again, they might give you temporary veneers while you're waiting for the real ones. And I think that's what's happening with these veneer techs. You're going with temporary shit that will not last and you're gonna have to go back to them and they probably don't even fit well in your mouth and all the bacteria fucking up your teeth, you're gonna get cavities, gum disease, like holy, 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 holy. I don't think y'all know that your teeth are in your mouth. <laughs> Revelation of the century, I know. But this area of your body, if there's infections and things of that nature, it is extremely dangerous, bro. Like, this is a very bad area to be fucking with. Anyway, next, once your veneers are ready, so the custom ones are made, they will remove the temporary ones, the dentist, the professional, the licensed fucking professional, and they'll put on the new custom made veneers and check if they're well adjusted and things of that nature and see if there's any modifications to do. And finally, if you get high end veneers and you get to go to professionals, um, yeah, they can be there permanently. Some people do have temporary, but they can be there permanently. You have to really make sure that they're well sealed because if you have any lingering cavities, and this is a problem with the veneer techs because they're not dentists. If you have any lingering cavities or anything wrong with your teeth, you can't seal that shit. You got to treat the problem first before you can go and get veneers or else you're gonna get the craziest infection, my guy. And once you get veneers, it's not over. You still have to continuously go to the dentist just to see if everything's okay, any infections, um, any problem, any adjustments, things of that nature. I don't see the veneer techs doing that. So as you can see, this is a long procedure with a lot of steps and everything's done meticulously to make sure you don't fucking die. So how can, like, please let me understand. How can a freaking veneer tech with only three days of training be able to make sure that you're not gonna die of sepsis? That being said, um, let's read this amazing article. So in a recent article by Atlanta Black Star, they highlighted some problems in this industry of charlatans, um, this epidemic of veneer techs. And in the article, they call them basement dentists. <laughs> wow, 
wild. They say that these individuals often with no proper dental training are performing complex dental procedures right out of their homes, promising affordable smile transformations. For instance, one woman shared a harrowing experience on social media. She paid 3,500 for veneers from someone who claimed to be a certified veneer technician. Hours after the procedure, she was in so much pain she considered going to the emergency room. And when she returned to have them removed, the technician admitted she didn't even have the proper tools. So it's around $3,500, let's say, in Atlanta to get veneers. Okay, so I'm from Canada. It could be up to $16,000, just with a quick Google search. $16,000 for a full set of veneers, bro. Guys, there's a reason why it's expensive. I mean, forgot that. Go to Turkey if you want to get your teeth done. Don't do it in Atlanta, please. And this story that I've highlighted isn't one of a kind. I mean, multiple people are having horror stories of going to these basement dentists to get their teeth done, attracted by their low prices and also quick results. I, I told y'all, it takes weeks to even just get the set once your teeth are molded. You can't do this in one day. It's a scam. Again, these are things that are irreversible. I mean, you're shaving the enamel. Like, this is a huge risk. You can't let anybody play in your mouth. No diddy. Now, like I said, listen, I have a bachelor's degree in allied health sciences. So with my bachelor's degree, I can't even get a job. So I'll be fucking damned that a veneer tech is making up to $3,500 per visit with only a three fucking day course on Zoom. Hell no, dog. These dentists go to school for so freaking long, bro. These are professionals, man. And mind you, my dentist is a friend of mine, okay? Uh, she's super young. She's my hard worker. I showed her this. She was appalled. She said, it is extremely dangerous. You cannot do that. You can't do, you will, yo, you can die. Straight up. So this website is called I Make It Happen. And it has a three-day veneer level one composite porcelain hybrid training program. And $1,000 for the deposit. That's how much you're putting for the deposit. Now, the total program cost is $4,000. And it includes a beginner's kit. <laughs> At what point, like, bro, name me one medical profession where you get a beginner's kit. It's surgery. What the fuck? This is an operation. This isn't a game. You will die. Boy, your boy Ed got a new whip. You're gonna die. Oh, shit. Now, let's read this website a bit. Unlock the secrets of smile transformation. Introducing our exclusive hybrid course in composite and non-prep porcelain veneers. Non-prep, holy fuck. You need to prep. You need the mold. What the fuck? Embark on a transformation journey where the artistry meets dentistry in our comprehensive training program. Designed for those who are ready to elevate their skill set to the next level. There ain't no art and fucking being a dentist. Okay, you ain't Picasso. It's by the book. They're putting fucking emojis on his website. What you'll learn, master the intricacies of composite veneers, blending art and science seamlessly. For the love of God, for the love of God. Dive into the world of non-prep porcelain veneers, harnessing cutting edge techniques for stunning results. Acquire hands-on experience and expert guidance during three immersive days of live online or in-person training in Duluth, Georgia, perfecting your craft under the mentorship of trained professionals. There's no fucking trained professionals there. None, because you will get your fucking dentist license revoked. And they do this shit on Zoom? Like, at what point do you even practice in somebody's mouth? No diddy. But what point do you even do that? Some people are doing it on fucking Zoom. Access our Dynamics online platform for six months of continuous learning, featuring engaging modules with detailed videos, interactive discussions, and personalized feedback, ensuring you're equipped with latest advancements and best practices in the field. Why choose our hybrid course, flexibility, balance your professional development with your busy schedule with a blend of in-person and online learning tailored to your needs, expert guidance, learn from seasoned practitioners who bring decades of experience and insights to every aspect of the course. Community, join a vibrant community of like-minded peers, fostering collaboration, support, and networking opportunities beyond the classroom. Confidence, gain the skills, knowledge, and confidence to tackle complex cases and deliver exceptional results that exceed patients' expectations. Yeah, the only expectation that could be exceeded is that you don't kill me. 
then I'll be astonished. I'll be surprised. And now we're going to see some frequently asked questions. So let's look at this one. What's the difference in the basic and deluxe kit? The basic kit is everything that you need to practice and start your composite veneer business. The deluxe kit includes your airflow dental machine. I'm not a dentist. I don't know what the fuck that is. I don't even know if that's legit. I, I'm just scared. They even have scholarships. And when we see scholarship info, Oh, not available at this time. Okay, imagine getting a scholarship at the School of Buffoonery. So this is our about us page. We're just going to read. I Make It Happen is a med spa that was established in 2010 in Buckhead. The office is now located in Duluth and we offer transformational solutions to today's most daunting cosmetic challenges. Health and beauty is our specialty. We specialize in non-invasive cosmetic treatments such as body sculpting, permanent medical makeup, as well as cosmetic luxury teeth whitening options. Our staff is fully trained and certified in the services that they perform. But you also do veneers. You said non-invasive. You do veneers. You have to cut the teeth. Oh my fucking God. This can't be real. And I don't want people to think that this is everywhere. This is really some places in the US. What the fuck? These people, like, I'm sorry. These people have to be stopped too. I don't know if they have dentists in their business, okay? If you have dentists in your business doing veneers, that's fine. But a veneer tech cannot legally administer veneers on somebody. You have to be a dentist to do that. And some dentists don't even want to do it. And I understand, you know, it's a cheap fix. It's quick. Some people are really, really self-conscious about their teeth. I mean, I can understand, okay? Hiding your smile, not being able to smile, hiding your mouth when you talk, never laughing with your, you know, with your teeth, things of that nature. I understand a beautiful smile, beautiful teeth is something really nice to have, but veneer attacks are not the solution. I mean, honestly, guys, would you let this dude? Put veneers in your mouth? I don't know the guy. No disrespect, man. Things an IG model. Dude, you could have been a nail tech, a lash tech. You could be any of those techs, bro. Why do you have to be a veneer tech, my guy? Jesus. That being said, this trend of veneer techs popping up everywhere in Atlanta and even in other places in the US sheds a light on this affordability of dental care. Where I'm from in Canada, you do not really have dental coverage unless you have it with your college or your parents have it with their job and you can be um, a dependent, have a chance to use their insurance. But without that, tough luck. We have a pretty decent healthcare system, but it's not the best when it comes to dental. Okay, I wish on my hand I regularly went to see the dentist because when it comes to teeth, it's a slow process. But if you don't floss, don't brush your teeth well, and I'm not saying I brush my teeth every day. Don't ever get it twisted. I brush my teeth every day after every meal. Don't ever twist it. But I underestimated the importance of flossing. If you don't take care of your teeth, bro, problems can occur. And for the love of God, if you have wisdom teeth that are bugging you, take them out. I swear to God, take them out, bro. Because I left them too long and I almost lost more teeth than I had to. Thank God I did it, okay? Sucks, but you gotta do it, bro. That being said, if you don't have a good job, you might not have any dental insurance and you're taking care of your teeth is really important. It's a really important area of your body. And also, bro, you eat with it. You need your teeth to eat. Do you want to not enjoy pizza anymore? Do you not want to enjoy lasagna anymore? Goddamn, take care of your teeth, guys. But again, guys, check with your schools if you're in school, if you can have any dental insurance. If you have a chance with your employer to add dental insurance, do it, guys. Regular go to the dentist six months if you've ever had any problems or once a year. And floss, guys, floss, 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 and take care of your teeth. And listen, guys, if your teeth are a little yellow, it's okay. It is natural. You're a human being, okay? If they're a little bit crooked, it is normal, okay, guys? And listen, honestly, at this point, you might die if you go to a veneer tech. So, guys, please, worst case scenario, worst comes to court, just save your money, please, because it's not worth the trouble. Anyway, guys, if you're in Atlanta, please let me know what the fuck is going up with that place because this is not the only weird shit that happens in Atlanta, okay? There's a lot of weird shit that happens, okay? So let me know in the comments if you're from ATL, okay? And also, guys, like, share the video. Please share the video because I want people to see this because if you're ever going to get veneers and it's sketchy, don't do it. I beg you, do not do it. And guys, as usual, please take care of yourselves. And guys, always keep it supreme.